Hello everyone, I'm Conrad Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as a Soviet Union. So, this is not where we left off, it's 1943, May 1st, and this is the world. So, let's talk about Saudi Arabia first. So, I eventually pushed out the French, because that was the main enemy here, because they actually pulled out their own divisions for some reason. They left, like, a token force, like, one tile, each had, like, one division or something. Uh, I, I think I first took out the mountainous area... And then cut these guys off, cut out through Omen, took them out using our, my motorized. And that's how you can see I have some divisions still in Saudi Arabia here against the British Empire, who's fighting all of my allies except for me. For some reason, I, the Soviet Union, did not want to go to war with the British Empire. But all of our allies are fighting each other. Even though the British Empire is fighting America as well, who's in my faction. Next up, Manchuko. Well, they went to war with me. They were completely independent. They went to war with me and Communist China. I don't know why. It made me pissed off. Doesn't matter, though. Um... They're gone. I took a good chunk of Manchukuo. I gave it the rest of Communist China. Uh, oh, China's... That part of China. Uh, next up. This is where we left off last time. Uh, I After, actually, the end of last episode, I decided to do an attack and use my Cypher, which I already made another one, to break through a chunk of German lands. Just almost all of Prussia. But now they've stocked up their border, and here are the casualties. I've lost 1.77, they've lost over 5.2 million, the French have lost roughly a million, Belgium's lost almost 600,000, French Algeria, of all places, has lost 117,000, and there's more losses all around, and uh, they really don't want me to have Istanbul. I'm getting attacked by 24 divisions, and I just added some more, which deployed over here, and they're coming over there, so... The do you have any upgrades? You're level 6. He's an ass urban assault specialist, which is cool. But I decided to start recording again because they're attacking me. And when they attack me, I'm going to unleash an offensive against them once their attacks are done and finished. Because, my god. Uh, the Germans are super strong. They are super strong. And I've been using my carriers in... Or close to Finland because they kept trying to naval invade me. So, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer for them to keep attacking me. And then I'm just going to unleash hell. Also, I have a massive deficit of artillery. And a little bit of tanks. And a lot of fighters. Which I really don't like. Cool. Are they done attacking me? Oh, I did push down here with three. I had three heavy tank divisions, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. You know what? This is probably a bad idea. It's probably a really bad idea. Ooh, collaboration governments. Look at that. Latvia, 30%. Oh, I do want to address one comment before we get on too far in this episode. Uh, Let me see. Someone wants me to use Katyusha's motorized rocket artillery. I'm trying to make more of them. They're okay. They're not great right now. Uh, where are they? There. Motorized. I, I still have motorized artillery, but compared to these guys, motorized artillery is still better for now. I'm trying to get upgrades, so that makes it even better, but, you know. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, rocket artillery upgrade one. But let's go ahead and see if our cipher can do okay. Let's reveal it. That's fine with me. We've revealed the cipher. Good lord, I hope I don't lose a lot of guys in this push. Go ahead, my boys! Take out Germany! If we can. We can't take them out right here. Whatever. I could have these guys help out, but... Uh, they might do okay. They might not. What really matters is we push through northern Germany. That's my main goal. But I need to attack like crazy to actually push through here. Because this is actually pretty weak. Everywhere else on the line, though, is insanely strong. We're trying to attack. They're trying to attack us. Actually, why are you attacking me? Oh, you're not. You're, we're actually getting it. Oh, no. The Americans are attacking to a degree. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. They're still attacking me in Istanbul. I'm just going to take so many losses doing this. That's okay, though. It should be o worth it overall. Especially if we're weakening them, especially in the north. Berlin is not that far off. And that's really good. Now, they do have air superiority in a lot of places, which sucks. But, uh, I can only do so much with 428 factories against a combined Germany, Thick Hungary, Italy. Well, actually, Italy's in the Allies. Uh, Nation Francais and Greater Portugal. So, my goal really is to take Berlin in this push. Oh, we actually pushed this way. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. That's actually really good. Keep these guys at bay so that we can push down this way. Take their air bases so they can't use them. That's good stuff. Now, I try to have my... Oh, yeah, my ship's got hit damaged pretty darn hard. 
Especially some of these crappier sh Actually, my carriers didn't get hit. A lot of the screens got hit, though. It is what it is. But these uh, ships, not too bad. Yeah, look at that. Carrier, Stalin's Iron Pride, and Marat repairing. Oh, no. Orel. Come on. I should have sent my tanks up here to take out Berlin, but whatever. Uh, let's look at our losses. 1.88 million. We got plenty of manpower. 5.53. Nice. A million for the French. Good. They deserve it. Very awesome. Now, the Germans there on all adults serve. They have 5 million manpower on all adults serve. That's insane. Looks like my tanks are doing okay. Actually, doing, They're actually winning a little bit. Nice. I don't need you to go that crazy, guys. Just go and hold out here. You're going to continue helping an attack here, though. Good. Push them out. I know attacking with infantry is such a bad idea, especially when you have no artillery, but you know what? Berlin's a frontline city, and I'm okay with that. Once we take Berlin, I will stop the attack, or when the decipher... Oh, I got 16 days. We're only halfway through the decipher being broken. Awesome. 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 The losses will be worth it. Maybe not in Slovakia, but you know, whatever. Oh, Katowice. Take Katowice. Do we need more steel? I need more resources. We're out of rubber, out of a lot of aluminum. Which I really don't like. I hate being out of resources. Ah, the fall of Berlin! The Soviet Communique has announced a capitulation of all German forces in Berlin. After encircling the city, the Russians stormed it from several different directions, with the German defenders resisting furiously every step of the way. Soviet troops finally fought their way across the Mokti Bridge and into the Reichstag building, fighting room by room until they reached the roof where the Soviet flag was raised over the city. The Battle of Berlin is over. The fascist lair is ours. Ah, yes. Yes. 5.6 million. 2 million for me. Nice. Really awesome. Should probably stop attacking. But then again, I like attacking. Attacking in a mountain's really bad idea. Really bad. I want to use my cipher as much as possible and then get ready for a uh, counter attack. Yeah, let's stop attacking like crazy now. You know what? Hold. I don't mind attacking. Just don't attack like. What? What the hell are you guys doing? It's supposed to be a, okay. Go careful then. Oh no! It's the Americans that are attacking. God dang it! Flipping Americans. Uh, at least we have Berlin. Japanese operative captured. Asuka Nogi. So cool. Awesome. And we sunk some more of the fleet. Great. Oh, the carrier is strong enough to fight. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Look at this French fleet task force. Yeah, kill every single destroyer you see here. Look at those convoys. Yes! No protection. No, always use protection, but the French don't understand that. Good. Good. Oh, are we still attacking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this cost me, I'm sure, so much artillery. Actually, it didn't cost us that much. That's actually a really good attack. A really, really good thrust into the German territory. We even captured the capital. Got a few more factories, and two... Alright, please don't attack like that, man. You're, you, you're nuts. Please don't tell me my divisions are attacking still. Oh, right, I'm pretty sure I told you this. I'm just going to stop. You all, Gleivitz, just come here or something. Stop, stop, stop. Why are you Why are you still attacking? Uh, because the Americans are. God dang it. Yes, you flipping Americans. <laughs> cool. Let everyone get healed up. Stop attacking. And we got to start pummeling the enemy appropriately. Like right here. Which we're going to start right there, actually. And I need more military factories. We have Breslau. Great. Niederschlesen. Great. Keep making more military factories. Those are incredibly important to have. Gorky, Gomel. For some reason, I don't know why the AI pushes, like, things I want to build at the very bottom, even though I'm control clicking. Makes no sense whatsoever. Alright, so Germany. Germany. 4.17 million manpower. Good. 181 million uh, divisions. Wait. 181 divisions, not 181 million. That's a lot of divisions then. Holy cow. Uh, Resource-wise, we're doing okay. Need way more aluminum and rubber, though. Makes sense. New Soviet man. Managed subjects. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Rocket artillery upgrade. Oh, yes, please. Let's grab even some more. 
And I want to watch this naval battle. I want to enjoy it. Oh yeah, this is going to be a slaughter, hopefully. Oh good, sink the convoys, sink those French convoys. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, you got a destroyer. Andrei Vlasov wounded. Good. Don't let him escape. Get one more. Ah, oh, they got one more. Good, good, good. <sighs> Tasty. Now, we have only one guy operating here just because everyone else is... Uh, you know what? Go ahead and do that. You guys are trying to finish repairing 80.9%. Yeah, they'll finish soon enough, hopefully. Ooh, are we losing somewhere? No, that's good. That's good. Did did anyone get an upgrade for attacking this much? No, disappointing. Oh, uh, but how, where are our tanks? They're still moving because the game is lagging pretty hard. 1943 makes sense. Makes sense. What if I said, actually, actually, let's go strike right here. Oh, except for greater hungry, great. Forty combat with divisions, we might actually be able to push into Bulgaria. More ciphers, yes, please. We are going to do Switzerland. Uh, I guess it's a good time for me to tell you, like, the scope of the campaign. I want to beat the Axis. I don't care about the Allies. I really don't care about the UK or Italy too much. I just want to kill off the Axis and take out Japan, like most campaigns. I think that's just that's pretty good enough. If I go to war with the Allies, I'll take out maybe the UK or you know Great Britain or the British Empire. Maybe, maybe. But that's not really my idea. I don't want this campaign to go on too long. Good, let him attack us. They won't be able to beat us back. Which is awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Well, looks like they've been in the line down here just a little bit. We're not really that strong down south here. That's too many manpower. We might be losing this area, but not really. I mean, we can pierce their tanks. Oh, maybe not all of them. Some of them. I get better at piercing on my tanks, though. Good, you guys made it over here. Well, oh, did we actually move the line up a little bit? We might have, actually. Nice, you're gonna do this to there. Two tiles. Two tiles. Uh-oh. Ah, the Soviet fleet is back. Oh, look, they have their own carrier. <gasps> Converted battleship hull. Kill them. Kill them now. Just make sure we don't lose too many destroyers. We, don't, we can't afford that many screens right now. Oh, the... Carrier left. Darn. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Oh, yeah, took a destroyer too. Nice. Oh, we need more. These guys. Get more anti air. That'd be really good. Only level two, which is whatever. Level three radar. Level. Not one, level three. Level three armor. Dual purpose. Looking pretty awesome. Let's get two of these guys going. Uh, just stop on that for now. There you go. And come to Leningrad. Yes. Making our ships even better. Look at that naval XP. Can you imagine the Soviet Union having that much naval experience? Oh, it's so good. Come on, sink something here. Sink, sink something. More than just two convoys. Come on, man. We lost a plane, too. Oh. They're still attacking us, which is great. I knew they would counterattack. That's why I wanted to stop the attack as soon as I could. Now, this is looking pretty awesome. Go ahead and switch you guys to big boys as well. Everyone needs to have the big boy. Oh, yeah. Look at those attacks. You can't do anything against me, Germany. If anything, actually. Oh, you're still getting attacked. I'm going to attack next with these guys. Good. Wow, some of these guys are really beaten up. Which is fine. I mean, I guess I did convert them. Oh, hello. Look how weak these guys are. Yeah, just thrash them. Thrash their convoys. They don't need manpower. They don't need supplies. Beautiful. I really don't want to take off screens, but, you know, maybe I'll, I will. Throw another screen right there. That'd be good. Awesome. We got enough of this. What can we do? I want more air stuff. Chief of the Air Force. I want more air superiority if we can. Air accidents. 
Um, bad weather penalty, air accidents. Let's do air accidents, just because that could happen at any time. And then I'll probably raise my conscription level. Ah, yes, the tanks. Very good, very good, very good. Immediately attack this way when you're done. Oh, they've got nothing on us. Nothing. Some guy went, help out new Soviet man. Great. We'll do socialist realism, though. All works of art in the Soviet Union must strive to educate the people in the goals and meaning of communism, depicting the proletariat in realistic and typical scenes of everyday life. Soviet artists are the engineers of souls. We shall socially re-educate people to enjoy the fruits of communism. Hmm, love it. So we've got one carrier group here. And some pretty garbage battleships. They're probably garbage, let's see. They've got quite a few ships, but then again, those are enemy level 1 ships. Its design is pretty trash, not gonna lie. That's pretty trash. Hey, look! A tiny encirclement. Christian, thank you for playing. Oh, just go on right there. There, there you go. Help them out, help them out. That is a minor 7 up here, and then a minor 6. So that's like 13 divisions. Not bad. Go ahead and have these guys help out too. Uh, or maybe these. No, no, they can't even reach. That's okay. Very good, very good. And we still have. Oh, yeah, we only have seven subs down here because a lot of them just got trashed while trying to do that stuff over there. You know what? Uh, you guys are still trying to heal up, which I. Uh, how much? Two out of six. That ain't bad. We just need more ships. Which I'm desperately trying to make. Oh, look! An encirclement. Still again. A whole seven divisions are left. Very good, my friends. Very good. We lost over two million. They lost over six. Awesome. They just they just want me to thrash them. I love thrashing them. I definitely need to focus down here a little bit more. I might be able to scoop up into here, though. Cut these guys off. That'd be awesome. You know what? I might do another general attack, but with the ciphers for France as well as Hungary. And it'd be a complete, utter, front-wide assault. Because some of these guys are looking pathetically weak. We might just be able to smash them in one massive assault across Europe. Oh, I'm going to try it. Look how weak their divisions are. We can do it. I'm sure we can do it. Losses on their on their guys are just too high. Let's get my tanks into position first. And I'm going to tell you guys to go whenever I need you to. Krell, hope you're having a good day. Uh, we could throw that stuff on, but I'm not going to. You're going to go crazy. Anyone here? Oh, Vasily. No, you're a swamp fox. That's cool. Uh, probing attack and position expert. Let's use that. Why not? He can move his guys just a little bit faster. Uh oh, uh oh. Look, another task force has been damaged. I'm feeling so good about this. I'll move you down here too. One in each place. Ah, improve rubber processing. Great. Let's get even more rubber processing. Oh, that helps out quite a bit. I need definitely though more extraction. If I could extract like 10% more, that's awesome. Oh yeah, look at it. They're just attacking like eh, crazy in a lot of areas. Not everywhere, but a lot of areas. Alright, so how much artillery do I have in reserve? None. I got minus 2400. Hmm. Well, that ain't good. French operative captured Elsa. Ooh, Elsa. Nice. Sink them to the bottom of the Baltic Sea. Oh, some Norwegian stuff, too. The Brumer. I think it's Norwegian. No, it was German. Doesn't matter. They're all dead, anyways. Alright, my boys. It is time. Well, maybe once they stop attacking me so harshly in all areas. But we're gonna do it anyways. You know what? Greater Hungary, thank you. Thank you. Immediately give them hell. And we're doing a lot of intelligence stuff still. It's great. Lower Baltic. 
Love it. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, American convoys. Cool. So, you guys are going crazy. How about the... I need more red. No, I mean, more green, more green. No, no, no. We already are red enough. We love the workers. Unable to repeat strength and resistance. Agent forced into hiding. God dang it. That guy was probably doing that one mission that made us forced to not do that. Ooh. What's what happened over here? Completed. No. Oh, our guy's been... Yeah. Hiding. We have nine operatives. That still doesn't feel like enough, to be honest with you. Coordinated strike. Rushing below. What is this? Deadly? Declare war on Latvia. For the first three days of conflict, we will gain extra bonuses to port attack and strategic bombing missions in the selected area. Eh, that's okay. Eh. Prepare a collaboration government. That's not bad. Didn't wait, though. As we're desperately trying to push as hard as we possibly can against the Germans. And it's lagging extremely hard. What is going on? I don't think I've seen the game lag this hard in a long time. It's not even, we're, not even, we're not even playing Kaiser right here. Oh, man. Is someone having a civil war? Or, hold on. Let's discover what that was, because... Okay, I, I lost a heavy cruiser and three destroyers in exchange. Oh, that's the entire German fleet there. Well, that should be at least. You know, if that's the case, I'm going to pull you out. You guys have done very well, but, uh, everyone repair. Take that off. No, take it off. I do not want to lose anybody. We, we, we uh, basically sacrificed another destroyer. Three destroyers against these guys. They actually have a pretty uh, okay-ish fleet. I mean, it's their starting one, basically. Alright. Against the French, we should do okay-ish. Yeah, we're still beating them up. It just takes a while to attack. Down here. What's going on down here? Not much. Definitely need more artillery, though. We're doing better, though. Less, less than 3,000 is needed. go. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we need. We could use more fuel, so let's do that as well. But what does this say? Oh, it's all oh, the guys got gone missing. Yeah, that really sucks. Yeah. No, some more convoys or something, though. Yeah, but what happened? Oh, look at that! Look at this! Spain is back. How? How? What the? Wait. How do we get Spain back? Spain was completely taken over by P Greater Portugal. Was that who rebelled? Wait. Did they have a, a resistance uprising? The entire country is here now. What? This? They must have done like a rebellion or something. Like, like America or like. I doubt Tanu Tuva or Mongolia. Tanu Tuva is gone, but Mongolia would even have the ability to do that. Holy cow. I, I That has to be a resistance uprising or something. I've never seen that happen before. Then again, I don't play vanilla too much. Uh, get more anti-tank. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, better for support. Cool. You still have less soft attack by 0.8? Oh my goodness. Go ahead and do this. We'll need that for Japan. Oh no, the Italians invaded America. Well, they invaded Florida. I don't remember reading in history books about the Italian invasion or immigration to the United States. I thought they were up more in the New England area. Even the British empires invaded America. That's not good. That's really not good. Come on, America. You got this. 233 divisions. Please tell me you're making them in America, though. Come on, Earl Browder. You got this. Even Spain's doing pretty darn awesome against Portugal. We're doing really well against the Germans. Uh, we've stopped moving for some... Oh, that's why. Duh. Just go right ahead. Darn it, my abilities to be really careful sometimes. Vasily? Level 6. That's not high enough, man. 
I know, I know. Once the Axis is gone, I might just go to war with the British Empire as well. Take them out, and then take out Japan, and then call it a campaign. I think that's pretty much what's, what it's going to have to be. I know we're seeing a lot of red here. I know, but uh, it's necessary red. I have to just push. We have to hurt them hard enough. Oh, we're actually in uh, Bulgaria, too. Nice. Smash them here. Now, Hungary is going to take a while because they were fighting over mountains, which is impossible to do sometimes. We've lost 2.3 million. I definitely have to raise my conscription level. They've lost 12 million in total. We haven't pushed as hard as I would have liked so far, but then again, the German lines look like they're actually collapsing in Germany. Love it. They have 30 less divisions than when we checked earlier. Look how weak some of their divisions are. Over here. Look how weak they are. They're so good. I wish it wasn't so laggy. They're down to 3 million man. Okay, maybe 3.5 million manpower. That's so good. Oh, what happened over here? Ah, oh, another task force. Destroyed. Very good, very good, very good. 74 Coast Guards, never enough. Uh, you guys are holding... Oh, man, that's the rest of the fleet, huh? One carrier, one battleship. Protected by nine screens. That's actually a really good task force still. Very good. You guys, I don't mind doing this, just in case some of you guys might be injured. Unable to repair, repeat, collaboration government. Oh, okay. Nice. Because... You are almost at 100%. They're 90% collaboration in the German Reich. And will reduce their surrender level by 27%. Good, good, good. Prepare a collaboration government in Estonia. We're going to use Rado and then you. If we can repeat, do it. Do it. Yeah, attacking against Hungary, not a great idea. We saw the breakthrough against them. And really, the goal is Germany. That's the real goal here. Because they don't have the... I just don't think that they have the equipment... Equipment? The equipment to keep these... The defense is up. Because I knew Hungary is going to be a pain in the butt. We're all the way down to Bulgaria. That's amazing. Can I like, send everyone this way? What if you guys stopped attacking, support the attack there, and circle these guys over here? You might just be able to do it. Ooh, the IS. Nice, nice. I'd like to make him, but uh, the rest of my tanks are a little busy right now. Oh, 30% more. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Oh, yeah. You know what? I said what I said. Let's go to make them even better. Make them as fast as possible, which I know it doesn't make any sense. But they're extremely reliable. And I know I need to stop attacking so I can make more artillery pieces, but Germany just had. They, we had to kill them off. Come on. I mean, we are slowly taking them all over. Even, we're, Prague is a frontline city. Great. Help them out in Leipzig. America wants to send me, oh, oh no. That's bad if, oh, good God, no. Oh, how much more days do, how many more days we got for cryptology? Oh, it's over. Right? Oh, it's over. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and stop the attacks. That was actually a pretty good attack. Overall. I would say that's a pretty good attack. Um, You all... Oh, we made that encirclement. Great. Let's let everyone finish their attacks first, except in places like this. That's, that'll be good. Now, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to let him move. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. You know what? I'm going to sack more divisions up in here. Yeah, get the hell out of here, you piece of garbage. That's why I wanted to wait to guard that area. Uh, 
Um, well. Good. Hold. Optic Kosich. Kosich. You should be able to win here again. There's no excuse for you to not win here. Take these guys to help support the attack. Nice. Very nice. Prague is ours. Now we've lost 2.5 million. That's not bad against 12 and a half? That's really good, actually. See, it looks both of the carriers seem to be resting. We have a th third carrier? Oh, that's so good. We have a third carrier. Please make more uh, light cruisers, though. That's going to be so important. Oh, yeah, they're, they're still attacking me. But Spain, you have... Res R risen up against your oppressors, literally took out Greater Portugal, and are now trying to take out fascist France. That's insane. But let's do ultimatum to Greece. The Aegean Islands is the last strategic place or peace we need to make sure the Red Fleet can operate freely. The Greeks are pressured from all sides and will most likely give up a little territory to avoid an all-out war, even though, well, they're kind of on our side right now. <laughs> oh well. Move the conscription. Italy, I can go to war with you if I wanted to, but I'm not really interested in that right now. Hey, look. Dead men walking. Or alive for now. Help them out. Help them out. Good. Let's go ahead and grab some more ciphers. Or oh, we're actually doing the Reich again. Oh, we're actually doing it all again. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What ciphers do we have besides the British Empire? Poland and Italy. Good. Where are my tanks? I'm going to send you... Send them mm, up here. We can finish this area off very quickly. Actually, I might not even need tanks for this. I'll probably send the tanks to northern Germany. Just take them out. Just end them. There you go. Take Kiel. The Kiel Canal will be ours. Please give me more. I don't want to put another carrier on here because that would ruin. Because we need, actually, we have, that's a perfect ratio of four capital ships to 16 screens. Even though those screens aren't great, I need more of these guys. But having another carrier is so good. It's so handy. Alright, let's let the game just kind of process. Let's let our guys get a little bit more organization first. But we've broken down to Istanbul. That's amazing. That's actually awesome. Really flipping awesome. Because now I can link up here... And do this. It just made our line even stronger. Awesome. And they're still trying to attack me. Love it. Now, Coast Guard, you got a, a slight mission to do. There you go. Tanks, you went all the way up there for sightseeing and nothing happened. That's okay. You're going to attack right in Weimar. And you're going to go straight up like that way. And then I'm going to attack Germany again. Because they're just too weak. They can't do anything. They have enough manpower, surprisingly. But, uh... Well, that's nice. 2.7 million manpower. They don't have the equipment. They have 211 factories, which isn't bad, but... Yeah, I could maybe use, work a little bit more on artillery and support equipment. And support equipment. Oh my god, look at this aluminum that we need. Uh, this is really bad. I had to get it from Yunnan. Uh, I don't want to get it from the, any of these guys. It's really, really not good. Hmm. Do you have any places that make aluminum? Ah. Okay, why did it make it go all the way south? Why? why? That makes no sense. I shift, I click, control click, then shift click to get it up to 10. It doesn't do that. Yeah, it does it again. I wish they'd fix that. I really wish they would fix that. Alright, so this... What is absorbing uh, all these stupid fighters? There you go. That should help out... Well, didn't help out at all, really.
All right, they're still attacking me. Holy cow. You know what? Maybe redeploy the front line so that we have it up a little bit nicer. There you go. Because I want to capitulate Germany in this at this episode. Uh oh, that's not good. What's this? Oh, military police doesn't even have enough for military police. Ooh, I could. I don't want to do this. But if I remove it, we won't have any resistance. I can throw on more armored cars too, so that'd be okay. Even though it doesn't really matter at the moment for that. Nice anti-tank upgrade. Pretty good. Pretty good. Even more piercing. Even though I guess probably at this point we don't really need it too much. How much armored cars do we have? How many? Oh, I got plenty. Resistance will be fine. Yeah. Advanced rubber processing. Get even more rubber processing. Thank you very much. Very good. The Italians. I know the Italians and their allies want to cut a war, but I really don't. Oh, Magdeborg. Why are we attacking? Can we attack and take Magdeborg? Oh, heck yeah, if we can. Yeah, awesome. Oh, we're, we're trying to go straight through it to get down to Weimar. Makes sense, I guess. So who do I have to capitulate? I have to capitulate the Germans. National France. Is that it? Oh, that might be it. I might be able to break into France after I capitulate the Germans that fast. And you know what? The Spanish are taking back their homeland. That's amazing. How is America doing? Uh, the Italians are moving in a little bit. They actually got encircled. Holy cow, 13 divisions. Nice. Uh, the British have landed, I guess, in their former colonies. Roanoke. Somewhere around here. Virginia. North Carolina. Ah. Uh, and they're still attacking me like crazy. Like, why? Yeah, I definitely want to wait just a little bit longer. I mean, we're out of support equipment, which I really don't like. You don't get that as well. Why not? Karel? Hmm. Still could wait. And we're getting attacked. Yeah, that's an insane idea to attack my tanks. You guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay. Soviet theater, the Asian one against China. You know, I, I will take whatever I can get right now. Alright. Andre? Nothing? Oh, man. This could be so devastating to my industries. They're still attacking me. You know what? There's no point to really attack until they're finished attacking me. So let's watch them attack my lines. We have decided to raise our conscription level, which is good. We have Smash, Partisan Damage, British Isles. Oh yeah, why are you all doing this? Um, go ahead and go to London. The Germans won't hold off for that much longer, probably. Come to Wales-ish. And you guys come to Scotland. There you go. And you know what? Maybe come to Ireland, too. You're pretty good. Ah, Ireland. I mean, they're attacking like crazy. Like a bunch of crazy animals. Now, we've lowered our deficit of artillery by almost a thousand. Support equipment's looking not too bad either. Even our tanks are doing pretty darn awesome as well. I mean, how many have we killed? We've killed off... 13.65 million Axis members. We've lost total of a little over 5. Oh, 5.4 5. million, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Look at those losses for Germany. 8 million. Jesus Christ. Oh, very nice. Very good. Get some more anti air as well. Hmm. Is this not. Advanced rocket artillery. Does it not replace r rocket artillery? I think. What? Uh, hold on. Truck drawn rocket artillery, which barely gives you any more. This would give you a, just a tiny bit more breakthrough and a little bit more soft attack. Uh. We'll do it, why not? Saves on artillery just a little bit. 
Look at how badly my PC is chugging now. Holy cow. You know, do it for everybody. Why not? Even more. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need these. But artillery, regular artillery is just so good still. We're gonna try we're gonna go attack again. Um why do you like this? There you go. This is a bad idea to attack. Just give me just a little bit more time. Just a little bit more time. We're making forty pieces of artillery a day. We can wait just a little bit longer. Alright, well, three, two. Good enough for me, everyone. We have no extra breakthrough, no ciphers broken. But at this point, especially in the German Czech government, collaboration government, and Germany proper, I mean, it's it's just going to be over for them. Good. And I really want to capitulate them as fast as possible. I really want to capitulate the Axis in this episode. So this is going to be a long episode, guys. My apologies. I'll get rid of these guys if we can. That'd be so good. Oh, we were actually defeated. In some areas. Good. Take out Leipzig. Or the area next to Leipzig. Can't win everywhere, but that, that makes sense. Invasion of Greece. Yes. Yes. Hungary is going to be a pain in the butt as well as Slovakia. But we already know that. How much more do we have to capitulate for Germany? 85% of the way there. 85%. Ooh, uh, Vienna is their capital. If we take Vienna, that might just be all over for them. Go, tanks, go! You know, I'm gonna give you force attack. I need you to move, move, move. Ooh, and actually, air support. Um, we don't need that over there. Over here might help. I'm probably out of planes, to be honest with you. This is one massive front. Fighting the Axis by yourself. Of course, I do have the, the United States with me. But not really. I mean, they're fighting off over here. Oh, oh well, that's a little late for Greater Portugal, I'm not gonna lie. Completed Italy, British Empire. It's looking good. How is this going? Oh, good. Um, that's nine. So that's nine screens. If I throw on this, this becomes just a little bit worse. But honestly, at that point, this is not too bad then. I need 12. And we only have 11 for screenage. So, not bad. And they should come out very soon. Look at this. Tiny little encirclements. But beautiful encirclements nonetheless. Oh, yes. Take out those French divisions. Yeah, this is really bad. It's only 1943. Paradox has definitely made this game laggier with, a, with the ability to release colonies that should honestly not be released. British Sudan, really? British Egypt it makes, I guess, a little bit of sense because I know the Egyptians had a little bit of autonomy during World War II, maybe a little bit. But French Niger, ah, oh, German Czechoslovakia is gone. But French Mali makes no sense. Ah, uh, the first of many states to fall. Oh, we need to for do more ciphering. Oh, we already ultimated into Greece. Great, great, great. No enemies being dis. What are you, what are you smoking, AI? Southern thrust. So, annexing Iraq and Iran would be secure their vast oil reserves for the revolution and put direct pressure on the British imperialist fight in Egypt and India. Or something like that. No. Son. Uh, Hungary. Nation Francais. Please, 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 my friends. Feels looking good. Ships. Why are you still in port? Uh, we, we stand with Greece. The time for talk is over. Um, I really don't care. I just did it just to get it over with. To be honest with you. Yeah, I know. We're t I'm picking up probably a lot of losses. I've lost a lot of artillery. A lot of support equipment. A lot of tanks. But it's all worth it in the end. Because this... 
This is going to be a long video, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be too long, and the reason I'm making it so long is that I really don't want this campaign to last too long, like I said earlier. I want to capitulate the Axis in this episode. They have to capitulate, no matter how laggy it is. Look how close they are. 98% of the way there. Come on, they're so close. Push just a little bit harder. Come on, man. I mean, the Germans, they take forever to get rid of nowadays. Good, we have two of these guys here. Do both. Well, oh, we've invaded the Netherlands. 97, come on. They, oh, they just separate our ciphers. So that's not good. Yeah, there's a lot of red, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, what is the strength of the French? They can't... There's no way they can keep this up. How? 400,000 only on service by requirement? The provisional government of the German Reich, after a long and concerted effort to improve cooperation and compliance between our occupation forces and local civilian authorities, we're now ready to put control of the German Reich back into the hands of a local government. This new government is made up of sympathetic civilians, is ready to closely coordinate with us. They have our blessing. Hell yeah! <sighs> and the game's lagging. So maybe I won't capitulate the Axis in this episode, but in the following episode, I will. And we'll immediately begin going to war with Japan, probably, and make a ton of naval bombers. Even though we have, like, no aluminum, which really is not bueno. But we have 600 factories for now. A lot of them are German. If I could make one mega German puppet, I would really like that. And they capitulated. Oh, would it be... Oh my god. If we could just take all these guys out right here, right now. Oh, this is disgusting. But you know what? This video's gone long enough. I will see you all tomorrow when we finally kill off the axis. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Guys, if you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when the axis dies and we go to war, potentially, with Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.